Many of you have probably heard of the Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. Many of you have probably heard of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. These are games that are pretty fun. They're pretty well made games. But um, with a successful game, obviously comes with your knockoffs and your ripoffs. And we're back on mobile, hence the terrible quality. So welcome to the Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator ripoff that really annoys me. So this is a medieval battle simulator. Let's uh, get into the campaign. Right, Europe. Let's go. I, I, I accept. Great. I can't put flight mode in because I'm using the Wi-Fi to stream this to my PC to record it. So we might get some ads, but I'll try and cut them out if I can. Right, so we're down here. This is uh, the first. We've got a thousand gold. We can get some infantry. I think that red arrow is where the enemy is going to come from. So let's pop an archer line in here maybe. Get rid of you. Pop you up there. Okay, uh, we get some infantry. We'll get some shielded infantry to make a line in front. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And, of course, wow. We need some cavalry, I think, that are going to flank. We can get si we've got 65 left. Let's get some uh, scrub units just to pad it out. And let's start the battle. Here we go, boy. Oh, wow. They've got many less men than me. I see. Well, my cavalry's just going forward, just doing their thing. As you can see... <laughs> what was the point of that battle? I mean, at least tabs in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator actually have some difficulty to them. Right. Maybe the next one will be harder. Hopefully, there should actually be some competition. We're going to get rid of the cav. We're going to get rid of the cav. We're just going to... Make a, a smiley face of archers, methinks. Beautiful. And then we're going to get a load of shield infantry at the front because I think that's going to be pretty useful for uh, blocking stuff. So what kind of army are these guys actually bringing forward at the moment? They've just got spearmen in... What's the point? Because I don't think their archers are going to do much against my, my shielded guys. We are really just cutting straight through them. I don't think I've lost really anyone. I might have lost one guy, but... What is the point? Seriously. Just, it's not hard. To, like, there isn't any difficulty options, surely. Oh, wow. You actually have... Oh, nice. Let's put it on fantastic. Can we make this look beautiful? That'd be really nice. That was great. Okay, we got a little bit more money this time. Oh, we can see the character stats as well. Oh, so these are mages. Let's try a couple mages. Are these archer mages? Right, yeah, hell yeah. Let's use some archer mages then. Let's get them going. Um, great. You can't even scroll down. So the cavalry, they've not even given you a scroll option. So you see the cow on that bottom. They're just cut off. you just got to deal with it. They're just cut off. I mean, just just deal with it. It's fine. Deal with it. Uh, let's put some archers around the back. I really, I really do like using archers and stuff like this. It looks like they're going very much for the mage and archer route. I think, oh, no, these are spearmen. Mages, what are you doing? What are you... <laughs> What just happened? I can't tell if the mages are actually doing anything. See, they just pop. They just disappear and pop when they die. See, it's games like this that make you realise why mobile gaming hasn't really pulled off and caught on in the same way as other games, unless you've got these massive budget studios. Because, I mean, obviously you've got the Call of Duties that are now going to mobile Fortnite and PUBG and things. But unless they're a massive studio like this, there's no entry level for mobile gaming that's a decent game. All the entry level mobile games are terrible, absolutely terrible. We're gonna get a cavalry front line, don't you worry, we're gonna be great. They're just either just microtransaction full or just rip offs of other games, or like this one, have an ad after every single battle. How are you going to get anywhere with that? Let's start this next one. Oh, they've actually got cavalry this time. I wanna see how effective cavalry are. They put archers on their front line, which is clever of them. Why have you put archers on your front line? How is this going to prove to be any sort of difficulty if you're just gonna chuck archers at me oh for goodness sake okay we're gonna try a different tactic this time we're gonna try archers only because I want to see how effective they are let's have a look at the stats uh, so these are light archers these are heavy archers these are peasant archers archer mages cavalry mage right fun but we're gonna use heavy archers I think so we're just gonna get a ton of these guys I want to see how effective these guys actually are when it comes to fighting do they change to melee mode? I doubt it, but let's find out when it gets close because they have cavalry, which could prove 
to be a bit of a pain. One shot them. Okay, they're just aiming for the other. Oh, oh. Wow. Did someone say absolutely overpowered? What is it? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> this game is actually um, it's all right. <laughs> it's it's not. It's not. If you want a fun game, it's it's not. But if you just want to do a battle every day and then just close it down as the ad plays, why not? It's fun. Let's do let's do a couple more. Wow. Okay, we're gonna try a different way. Let's do an all cavalry battle. I mean, all archers was completely overpowered. That's something that probably is just going to be able to kill anyone. It didn't seem like they had any. They didn't lose a single guy when it got even against cavalry. Uh, wow. Okay. How my horses are doing pretty well. Not a single one of these has proven, and this is the problem with the game. It's not necessarily because it's a, a rip-off of uh, Tabs or Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. That's fine. Well, it's not fine, but it's, it is what it is. That's not the problem. The problem is there's nothing to it. It's as if the game, which it probably was, was only made for those ads in the middle. And it's not really a game at that point. It's more of a, an ad board with bits of things you can tap in between. So really, there's nothing to the gameplay because there's no difficulty to it. I mean, if you had to go into a game, you put out formations and it was pretty tricky, then you'd have to go and revise your formations and do that sort of thing. That would be fine, but the fact that there's no difficulty to this sort of thing at all is insane to me. See, if I go into options here, is there any difficulty? No, this is just all quality, uh, music, all that sort of stuff, camera options. There's none of that sort of thing. Um... Yeah, what other games have these guys made? Let's have a look. Let's check these guys out. See if they've made any of the ripoffs. Oh, God. Oh, my word. So, we've got Medieval Simulator. Stick War Simulator. World War Three European Wars strategy game. This is basically just every single one is either a Total War or an Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator knockoff. Wow, we got Rabbit Hunter. Great. Spartacus Gladiator. Ma Middle Earth, Rise of the Ox. Wow, I can bet you this is probably not licensed by Lord of the Rings. No, no, these are these are the Lord of the Rings characters we have here. Great. Fantastic. Guys, don't 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 support mobile games like this. They're bad. I mean, I'm going to make videos making fun of them, but as long as you know, you know just it. Oh, okay. This it is well. It is well. No. <laughs> wow.